Okay, in this problem I have a, uh, I have a parabola, and it's a parabola that has a restricted domain. Uh, as we can see, the domain goes from negative 1 to 8. So I have a, uh, let me just write here, my domain is that negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 8. Uh, not sure exactly what my range is yet. I see that the range, the lowest point is negative 3. The highest point is not sure. So I'll just write what I know so far. The range goes from negative 3 to... We'll just have to leave that blank for now. And uh, what I want to know is, I want to, well, I want to know what, the, what my range is. And then the other three things I'm looking for... Uh, I want to be able to describe this function in standard form, in vertex form, and also in factored form. And, uh, oh, there are two more things that I know that I should have put on here. That is this point here and this point here. Okay? So what I can see is that uh, this, my vertex is the point 4, negative 3. Uh, my y-intercepts, uh, sorry, my x-intercepts are the points 2, 0, and 6, 0. It goes through the point 8, 9. Uh, I don't know what my y-intercept is. I'm just going to have to figure that one out. Um, so let's see what I can do. Let's start with vertex form. Vertex form has the, uh, uh, the form of vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. All right? Now, fortunately, I'm two-thirds of the way done already because I know the vertex. It's the point 4, negative 3. And that point happens to be the point h, k. So that means I can say, all right, well, y equals a times x minus 4 squared plus negative 3. I'll just write that as minus 3. Now, how to find A? Okay. Well, it's actually pretty simple. Take the vertex and any other point. I could use the point 8, 9. I could use the point 6, 0. I'm going to use the point 6, 0. Make a little triangle here. Okay. Actually, just make a little angle, a right angle. And see, how much did X increase from 4 to 6? Well, x increased by 2. How much did y increase from negative 3 to 0? y increased by 3. So your increase in y is 3. Your increase in x is 2. The parameter a is your increase in y divided by increase in x squared, which in this case is 3 fourths. So what that tells me is the vertex form of my parabola is 3 fourths times x minus 4 squared minus 3. Cool. All right. Uh, we're actually, this also gives us uh, factored form as well. Because factored form is, factored form is, uh, y equals a times x minus m times x minus n, where m and n are the x-coordinates of our two x-intercepts, 2 and 6. And a is the same a that we had up here for our vertex form. So what that tells me is I have y equals 3 fourths times x minus 2 times x minus 6. Okay, and that is factored form. Okay, all I have left is a standard form. So, uh, how do I get standard form? Well, take either one of these, multiply it out. I usually start from factored form. Uh, this is going to give me uh, y equals uh, 3 fourths times x squared 
minus 2x minus 6x is minus 8x uh, plus 12. And that is 3 fourths x squared. 3 fourths of 8 is 6. 3 fourths of 12 is 9. And that's my standard form. Okay? Now the nice thing about standard form is it gets you the y-intercept very, very quickly because your y-intercept is merely the point where x equals 0. So if I plug 0 in here, I get 3 fourths times 0, which is 0, minus 6 times 0, still 0, plus 9, point zero nine. Okay? I'm almost done. I just got to figure out what this point is. And uh, again, you can, uh, you can take this negative 1 for x, and you can replace x with negative 1 in any one of these three forms of the, of the uh, uh, quadratic function. Because please remember, this form, this form, this form, they all describe the exact same function. Okay? If you pop in an 8 for x in any one of these forms, y will turn out to be 9 in any one of them. If you pop a 4 in in any one of these forms, you're going to get negative 3 in for y. So they're, they're all equivalent equi uh, equations. Uh, so I have this negative 1 here, and I want to replace x with negative 1 in any of these equations, and I'm going to go for this one because it's the easiest one, I think. Uh, 3 fourths times negative 1 squared is 3 fourths times 1. Minus 6 times negative 1 is just plus 6 plus 9. That's 15 and 3 fourths. And so that's what my range is. My range goes from negative 3 up to 15 and 3 fourths. All right.